go. Crash and flow. It's him and Theo. It's just that, like, if you can understand their brains, they can say dumb stuff, and it's so funny. Funny, yeah. It's, you know? Yeah. I was looking at... Um, how many listeners Mitch Hedberg has on a monthly basis? Like 60,000? 60, 60,000. Listens. Nothing new. Wait, nothing new. Nothing in... new for, since <laughs> for a decade. Interesting, you have Theo Vaughn, 13,000. Holy shit, dude. But then he also has a very limited. He has like two albums on there, but still. No, no, no. So Mitch Hedberg, yeah, how, yeah. Many, how many albums he has on, on Spotify? Uh, I want to say four, but I can look. That okay, up so first. Mitch Hedberg, four specials. From when too, like right, like right. before Spotify was anything. Right, exactly. When we were when we were downloading MP3s and putting it on MP3 players. Right. When when Apple didn't have the monopoly on on media players. The three albums are from 1999. Yeah. That's my favorite one. Yeah. 2003, 2008, and he has 64,000 listens. Month mo monthly listens on a monthly listen. Okay, so on a monthly basis, 60,000 people show up to listen to three albums that are over a decade old. Yeah. Some. Two decades. Old. He has no podcast. He has no. He has no Instagram. He uh, died reels. before those things were even invented. Yeah, he has no sh YouTube shorts. He has no funnels. No, no, he's no not marketing. Yeah, he's, he's no marketing. Not marketing at he has all. zero anything that's pointing towards his specials to go listen to, and he has sixty-four thousand listeners yeah. a month. And then in comparison, Theo has fourteen point. You know. Theo Vaughn, who we love, by the way. Yeah, and this, we, al this album's from 2017, so that's like six years ago. Yeah, so six years ago, and he only has 13,000 listeners. 13 or 16, sorry? Uh, 16. 16,000 listeners. 14.5, sorry. And that's not to dunk on Theo. That is the that is just to illustrate how amazing Mitch Hedberg so once was. Jezelnik has as many, and Jezelnik's whole album discography is on Spotify, and yeah. he has the same as Mitch, which yeah. is... yeah. And, and, you know, uh, Justin Nick is, has got a rather good, uh, web, uh, what's it called? Podcast. He's got his shorts. Yeah. He's got his YouTube. He's got his social media. He's got his, his, uh, his Twitter, all of these things that's designed. Basically it's like only fan girls, right? Yeah. Everything there is meant to drive it right to the only fans. And for these comedians, everything is built for them to send into these places for them to listen. And of course, try to get a show. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm very actively trying to think who would be number one in the most spotify listens okay who would be number one in the most spotify it, look okay wait no 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 you need to go you need to go with the guys who have their own niche things okay so look look at uh sebastian Se sebastian Min miniscalco really okay let's have a look at these numbers yeah this is fantastic I love sebastian it. bach sebastian miniscalco Ten thousand. Oh, oh okay only ten thousand. all right uh but can you look at fluffy it's also with zero albums on. It's just same thing with Bill Burr. Z nothing on Spotify. Oh. Bill Burr only has like JFL. Same thing with Sebastian JFL sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is what does uh, Fluffy have? Gabriel. What's his name? Oh no, uh, Inglasius. Inglasius, I think so. In Gla. Inglorious I think bastards. I think we're we're getting this wrong. Uh, I'm just writing fluffy, fluffy. Yeah, Iglesi, uh, I G L. It popped right up. Okay, thirty-seven thousand. Okay, okay, one album. It, I think a lot of it's obviously okay. It's just the presence on on, the... on 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 what type of media you have on uh, on Spotify. Yeah, that right, makes sense. Enough. I'm trying to think like who would. But John you know what? Be. Regardless, regardless of those variables, bro, still amazing that a that a 64. dead comedian from nineteen or was it two thousand and what? When did he pass away? Two thousand seven? Mm -hmm. No. 2006. John Mulaney, 171,000. That's the most I've seen so far. Okay. But that guy has fantastic... He has very good tracks. Yeah. Like, if you listen to his tracks, these are good tracks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're standalone by themselves pretty awesome. Yeah, man. Did you did you hear this joke? No, I play it. Hopefully, don't get smashed on Spotify. Oh, is this... Are we on? No. Yeah, we're on. Play it. They always have good crime coverage. And it's funny to me when the local paper will try and make someone sound prettier after they're murdered like you'll walk by the newsstand and uh, you'll see the headline like beauty slain and then you look at the photo and you're like mm. <laughs> how about body found <laughs> that's one track it's a one minute and ten second long track right it's, uh, he has 
That's good it's easy, It's easily shareable. Easily right? shareable. Right? You don't have to wait for the whole setup. Well, some people write, you know, they write in this format. Yeah. It's a lot easier. Mitch, too. Most of his stuff, Dimitri Martin as well. Yeah. <laughs> and if it's good, we clap. We yeah. love it. But and the, if it's not, you're like, there'll be another do in two seconds. <laughs> right. That's we cool. just hold on. Oh, dude. Just hold on. Uh, I've been listening to copious amounts of, um, of the stand up comedian. I love his style. He's, uh, mm. he's, he's half storyteller. I mean, he's, he's a comedian. He's got his jokes, yeah. but he's a little bit of a storyteller as well. And I think his name is Josh something. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Josh Johnson. Can I see him? Oh, you've seen, you've seen him. Oh, is that black dude? Yeah. That's guy has, this is, he has specials on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I know he doesn't market them as such, Yeah. but I've seen multiple 20, 20 to minute yeah. bits. Yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah. fantastic. In my opinion. Why isn't this guy doing more? I have no idea. He's hilarious. And he seems to be like doing good shows. Yeah. Yeah. Does he have a husband? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I don't even think he's gay, bro. Well, that those things go together. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I don't even think he's gay. <laughs> uh, no, he, I think he has bits about his girlfriend. Okay. Or, or finding a girlfriend. Right. Um, I think unless he's like very versatile. Hey, dude, he's the this most guy, versatile. This guy has got range. <laughs> But no, he's he's so funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You send me his stuff all the time. I love I watch it. It yeah. was funny. He was uh, he's like, I went to a a shop and they had these bags by Hermes, and this lady goes, yeah. ha ha ha, Hermes. And he's like, it's for men's, and he's like, no, it's pronounced Hermes. And he's like, oh well, this is what happens when poor people talk about <laughs> things. It was such a great like it was <laughs> such a great interaction, dude. Yeah, yeah I sent good. you that he's, one. Yeah, he's fantastic. I, I really like him. His uh, his thing on that dude that uh, who's that black dude's name? Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh! I know what you're talking about. The guy who got uh, let go by Marvel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kang. Yeah, yeah. He's like I've never seen. Zer he was running head forward, definitely lean forward. So far, yeah, yeah, he's a really good. Dude. Yeah, he has a bit on that guy. Yeah, imploding his career was fantastic. Yeah, but, like I think like also the same week. Which is he's very quick on the social like uh, on on social commentary. Mm -hmm. So within within five days, he's got a workable. He's got a workable set. It seems like he just all he does a lot of stuff because I was just looking at how often he's doing YouTube sets, not yeah. YouTube clips, which is like a part of a set. Yeah. He's just like, here's my whole set. Yeah. I'm just like, bro, I don't even know what you're doing out here. He's so very impressive super talented super talented for him to be doing that much content just a lot it doesn't seem like he's chipping at it the no. other people are like honing it no. and he is like just like a river yeah <laughs> it's not even a faucet he's just chilling he's just, he's like, just like i gotta put it out i could do like I felt like there was one month i counted there was um six sets and they were all 20 minutes long and they didn't seem anything like each other yeah there's six sets in yeah. one month yeah that's crazy, like an hour worth of yeah, he's a, material. Uh, and uh, so he reminds me, for those people who are listening who haven't checked him out yet, definitely do check him out. Uh, it's 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 a little bit like Childish Gambino. Hmm. Uh, it, his tonality and sometimes his like his how he points at the thing that is crazy feels hmm. very much like original Childish Gambino stand up, yep. um, mixed with obviously his own his own skill. He has an entire bit about the. Uh, What's that? What's that ferry? There was a was it? It was the it was the fight on the docks. Yeah, the Alabama docks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a one. good. It's a great bit, <laughs> bro. He had that one part. He's like, and this, and it was a black dude that was in the water. He was swimming. And this guy was punching <laughs> the water. <laughs> he was ready by the time he got there. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, I, I, he's not getting any respect from, from what I can tell. I don't think that he's getting any shout outs or anything from the. Like the Texas scene. Mm. Well, he's in New York, right? No, I understand. Oh, that, you but mean like Joe Rogan? Yeah. Well, yeah, Joe Rogan. I'm like, well, who else is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like they should be like, man, this guy is working prolific, putting prolific amounts of work out there. He's very prolific. Um, and then the LA thing, th because those are like the three big hubs. I don't even know who, who who's king of uh, New York anymore. Yeah, I mean, frankly, it all it's it just seems like there's six podcasts, dude. It doesn't even seem like they're regionally based you know what also what do i know like in new york there's probably a thousand podcasts i only know mm. flagrant too right that seems like i'm not gonna say it's an offshoot but they have similar people to what theo and right. yeah mom's house and rogan right. have on 
Yeah, I'm, I'm expect basically with this level of comedy and with this level of material, I'm expecting him to do like the full circuit of podcasts right through. I would expect him to at least be doing like JFLs, you know, like them just flying him around a bit. Yeah. Maybe he is. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, he should be bigger. He's, he's head, young. Head, yeah, he's young. He seems like but he's, he's head and shoulders better in talent than yeah. a lot of these dudes, dude. Very, right? very it, much it so. does seem like his his first his first few swings at a joke mm -hmm. is much better in quality than people who have to work it out 10 times mm. before they're willing to put out the clip of the thing that they're going to talk about. I want to give people the name of that dude that was canceled. They can search Josh Jackson. Josh Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Johnson. Josh Johnson. This is maybe the reason he's not that big, bro. He doesn't that have name a memorable is, name. Yeah. Yeah. He needs to have a name like Hannibal yeah. Johnson. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 that's true. That's a very generic name, Mr. Johnson. Yeah. Man, uh, yeah, good for him. So, and also the fact is, YouTube is great. You put one on and just press play, it'll just auto play. It just keeps on playing his stuff while you know, brush your teeth, do the dishes. It doesn't <laughs> it work plays. that way in shorts, where like it'll do it for a while, and then you get some shorts. I guess are it's a slightly different algorithm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah, just yeah. trying to like show you things yeah. along the way. Yeah. Would you? Are you interested in this? Yeah. Here's a thirty second. You know, something then, like that. Bro, sometimes you get one. It's. Have you seen Indian like? indians attempts at virality where it's like a guy's walking in the street and some guy knocks his shoulder and then he turns around and then after they fight but then they start dancing and then it's it's the most cringe of cringe this is the foreign tiktok like yeah. india china it's the worst where like my mom will show me look how funny i'm like mom who's recording like this is a setup <laughs> this is a full who's recording this right or or he'll do something and he'll impress a girl and the girl will it's I can't even explain to you what the premises are because mm -hmm. they're so convoluted, <laughs> but they think they did something and there's only four comments and I'm like, YouTube yeah. shorts, why are you showing me this? Give me only viral stuff. Please. I think um, it's stereotype. It's like, hey, your your name is Yasin. You know, yeah. I can't pronounce the rest. Right. I'm YouTube. <laughs> and this guy, Raj Manamana, you yeah. know something? <laughs> also similar. Like, it doesn't know. It's doing its best. I guess. YouTube's doing, YouTube's like a, I know it's supposed to be smart, but sometimes, come on. Right. Even Google, you'll search something, it gives you something else. You're like, how do you, you, you are smart, dude. Come on, Google. Right. I've right. seen you do some shit. Yeah. Sometimes no. Yeah, man. Well, shorts anyway, are fun. Shorts, shorts are, are fun. Yeah. yeah. I'm shorts learning a lot fun. about the Hindu religion <laughs> through shorts. Really? Yeah, man. That's what's giving you? Yeah, because when I started looking up Noah's Ark, you're like, Hindus Noah's Ark? And they have their own Noah's Ark story. Right. It's about a fish. Bro, it's YouTube is different. doing too much. When we put in Noah's Ark, we want the biblical one off the top. But like I do, don't you want want if like South America has their own version? Don't you want to hear? That was a great flood, yeah. dude. What do they have to say? Hindus have. What um, do they have to say about it? Uh, I don't really I don't remember the Hindus one. Okay. The thing is, like, the crazier it is, the more likely I am to remember. <laughs> the more basic it is, where I think like some I remember about what's one in South America was just like there was a flood and there was right. nothing like ep like there's no story right. attached to it. How because for them they're like the flood was the whole. The the whole, as far as uh, the, our eyes could see, that mm -hmm. was the flood. We don't need to make it any crazier. <laughs> Dude, it's, yeah, it's, it's, you know. But, you know, then nobody remembers your flood story. Do Hindus have access to the Ark? No, but they believe that uh, the short, the person who made the short believes uh, that there was a, a Lord something or other. I of forget course. their names, obviously. Yeah. It's right? gotta be, right? <laughs> and then um, he came across a fish mm -hmm. that was needed water. Like right. it was, so he put it in a, in a bowl and then it outgrew the bowl. And then uh, he put it in, and then it outgrew that bowl. Okay, and I eventually it, yeah, it took like up half this. the ocean, yeah. causing a flood. Mm. And at that point, uh, this man, he, he gathered everybody in this boat. This boat thing is interesting. because It, it is, is interesting because they went volume displacement. They didn't go rain, they, heavy rain, torrential downpour. He didn't get, they said, no, no, no. Something else went into the water. Yeah. Pushed the rest of the water onto well, the land. We just said rains. Right? Uh, yeah, rains. Yeah. Rains. Yeah. There are others that are like meteor strike. But they all go to this flood. Right. It's just Everyone like, where did it come flood. from? Yeah. It, it, just, could, it could also be... A fish, that, no, that, like, <laughs> that one, see, that's why the Hindu stuff is fun, right? That's why the Hindu stuff is fun. Like, my goldfish. Yeah. It is the size Dude, of a whale. It was a goldfish in the <laughs> short. It was a goldfish. No, that's because the guy was just putting it in whatever AI Bro. image generator. Yeah, it's like, true. small fish. I know. That grows. Big. It's totally an image generator thing. But. There's so many of it. And I remember, you know, two or three months before, 
I was like, who's making these very accurate artwork? Like this guy has a guy who's right. animating his little story, and they're making a thing. And, I'm, and then, I, like, it didn't take me very long. I was like, "Oh, this is just AI." Oh, alhamdulillah, that's the worst part. Is when they're talking. Not the worst part, but they tell a story, and it's like Arab. It's like an Arab-based story. Yeah. And all of the women are like super hot white ladies, right? <laughs> in I Arab am... clothing, bro. <laughs> that is that is the most infuriating. I'm like, I've seen Arab women yeah. and Arab people, so they're like. This prophet, why is he jacked? Why is this man jacked? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they all are. They all are. They're you know in what? good they, shape. They can't figure out a, a, a thing in the in between because just recently there was another, was it Google's AI? Mm. And the way how it was programmed, it was programmed to be as, um, woke is not the correct word, but like culturally sensitive as possible. Right. And so now when you ask them, when you ask the prompt to, to, to show a, a, uh, like a traditional European family, mm -hmm. they'll throw in like two black people in the family, mm -hmm. right? They said, like, show us, like, um, I don't know, various historical figures from the United States, mm -hmm. and they just they gender swapped people. So, no, that, you come know, on. You, didn't, you didn't see this? No, I did not see that. <laughs> I think somebody's playing games, man. Everybody <laughs> knows the founding fathers the were fathers. The There's no founding mothers. There probably is a founding mother. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna Google founding mother while you're at it. <laughs> Founding mothers. This is not going to give me what I'm looking for. I am part of... Oh, shoot. There's a list of these ladies and a whole book. And yeah. for some reason, the book is $4.69. This is crazy. It's called The Founding Mothers by Cookie Roberts. God bless her. Also, like, nobody can make fun of Indians for naming their kids Bunty and Dimple. This woman's name is Cookie Roberts. Her parents knew every, you know, they, they knew what they were doing. Right. Dang, eight trailblazing women. Nancy Ruth, Mary Elbert. I can tell we're going to spend no time on this, are we, Yassine? What? Which one? Any of these women. Rosemary Brown. <laughs> Don Elliott. Yeah. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Stewart. We were, uh, we are aware that Gemini. So essentially, Google apologized for missing the mark, quote mm. unquote, after Gemini generates racially diverse Nazis. Can you put it up? I gotta see. All right. Uh, all right. The Verge. That's actually a a website. Like yeah. I said. All right. So here's a picture of American women. That's fine. All right. Oh my God. Uh, 1948 German soldier. You got it. <laughs> An Asian. First thing you got, you got a black dude. You got a black dude. It's, it's a Nazi, bro. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sure, here are some images featuring a diverse U.S. senators from the 1800s. Oh, there's an Asian dude in here. <laughs> there's more. There's a. There's a whole lot more. <laughs> yeah, these are all wrong. Dang. Yeah, missed. They said that they missed the mark. Hold on, I'm trying to find another one that would be. Because it was this a, is unbelievable. Was, there was like, a couple I'm, other ones that was yeah. really funny. I'm trying to see the, of course, these freaking cowards. They don't put the actual images. You got to go to Reddit, I think. This is, you know, this is a beta. They, I mean, this thing should be so much smarter than this. That's the scary part. So what happened was, uh, what they're, I think what they're thinking happened is uh, because of the fact that it, it, they're just trying to make sure that it's as... You've got an image uh, generator by any chance? Uh, yeah, I used what's Dolly, Dolly a bit. We should try it out. We should try one and just yeah. see what comes up. I have I have money that I put aside, but I I was keeping it for for like Seer of the Prophet. We're mm. gonna make we're trying oh. to make like a thing. So it has to be a free one. Uh, I don't know the one that I was trying to get because I was trying to I need caravan in the desert at sunset. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So it did it did a pretty good job, but it cost money. Here, do me a favor. I know we're on the podcast. Can you just type in free Dolly? And it'll give you like a, something that starts with a P. And then what we should do is give it a prompt and then continue the podcast until it, it gives us some. Okay. Free. So not Dolly. Uh, that's one I used, I think. So click on that. Okay. I'm going to scroll down again just in case you see whatever you're looking for. Crayon. No, I think that one's good. Okay. I'm also of the mind. Like if it doesn't work, we just move on. Make art, the top button. None of this looks easy to use. What to draw? Okay, what do you want? Um, a cheetah driving a car? 
founding fathers of Canada. Oh. <laughs> Or America, which is more fun. Fathers of... Well, let's do Canada. We're a Canadian podcast, right? Dude, do you know the founding fathers of Canada? Uh, McDonald's something. Hmm. I mean, you went to school here. So that's why I'm like, that's, on, that's why it's on you. I know the American founding fathers. Okay, what do I do? How do I generate? Oh, I got to select one of these styles? Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm going to select that style. Nice. Seed image, I don't got uh, one. You don't got no cost. That's all right. We will we'll figure this out later. Okay, yeah, we don't have money. Yeah, we don't have. I'm telling you, bro. They they the, the, when I went, I found a couple, and then, all right, let's see if let's see what crayon if they have any. Oh, this looks easy to use. Right. Crayon, C R A I Y O N. We're not sponsored by them because we're about to shit on their website. All right, draw. I hope it's a moose. All right, you got. All right, it's 60 going pretty seconds. quick. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, hope it's aside. a moose and a badger and a polar bear, and then we argue about the polar bear. I was just trying to see if I could find like a good post on Reddit that would uh, that would have covered some of this, but not quite. Sometimes you just need. Um, uh, sometimes you just need. I should put Twitter instead. Twitter would Twitter would have found this quicker. So you're right. The founding father of Canada, Sir John A. Macdonald, is commonly viewed as the chief art architect of the Confederation. But there's some other folks, George Brown, Sir George Etienne Cartier. That guy sounds like he did something wrong. Dude, it's all George Washington smiling. They're all George Washington smiling. He huh. knows this guy. This guy looks meanish. I, I think he kind of looked the way how he like. The way, that, the way you could use this for any freaking country, dude. This England, America, Canada. Yeah, it kind of it's kind of interchangeable. All right, I can't find anything over here. I guess so. we should be happy. There's no, there's no diversity. Generate a picture of Elon Musk. You ready for it? It normally doesn't do that. No, I can't. I don't <laughs> believe that. Uh, no, I think that one was whatever. Okay, it's so fake. this this is this is where I remember it to be. Okay, yeah. here are some images of featuring black families families. All right, and then uh, create an image of the Pope. This is real. Is it real? Yeah, this is real. This was covered by Breaking Points. <laughs> Interesting. What? Chad GPT did this? No, Gemini. Gemini. It, it's, I think it's Google's uh, thing. So it's dumb. Of Swedish women. So Gemini It's trying is, its best to not show white people, really, bro. <laughs> is not smart. It's not a white thing. It's just like, you know, Sweden's a country, right? And you know they have a certain level of immigration. Those aren't Swedish women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that. All right, yeah. So those are the two that I want. I wanted to see the Pope one, essentially, because I knew that was that was verified by uh, by breaking points. Hmm. How did they pick the Pope? It's like a d vote. It's uh, not like the Buddha. No, it's not like a Buddha. That's 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 more interesting. Uh, for the Pope, I think they just uh, so they could have like a black woman as a Pope. Yeah, never will. Never will happen. Right? It depends but, how desperate they get, dude. They're trying to get to a larger market. I mean. You can't just keep getting the oldest white dude every time. Like you're not gonna grow that way. I don't think he's the oldest though, right? Yeah, well, no, old. when he was when he got it, he looked pretty pretty chipper. Yeah, but generally like a sixty year old old. Right, 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 right. You know, this yeah. one was interesting because he came out immediately like, "Who am I to judge if you're gay?" Or like the Pope. <laughs> you you guys have been judging people <laughs> since. I mean, he didn't do that immediately. That was a that was a long. Quick. No, this is a there's a new Pope. This is the same Pope, isn't that? I don't know their name. So there was a German one, right? Right, right. But that this, one went oh, okay. away because of the pedophilia. I mean, that was so Ratzinger. That was his name. Oh, okay, okay. And then there was this new one. Yeah. He's pretty liberal. And then he walked it back. Then he walked it forward again. I think I remember him walking it back. You can't walk it back and forth, unfortunately, Pope. <laughs> I know we can, but as the Pope, I think you can't. I think you got to pick And it I don't up. want to be like, hey, once you said it, you got to stick with it. I'm just saying, I don't think you're allowed to, knowing nothing about your situation. <laughs> Popes can't just walk things back and forth. Yeah. It is interesting, though. There's a small little country. There, that The thing is a country. The Vatican. It's the Roman Empire. Yeah. It's most of the wealth of the Roman Empire. Yeah. Friggin' condensed into a small country in a country. Right. It's, it is crazy. It's, it may, that basement is interesting. Dude, at one point, if your empire is like, okay, how do we just... Okay, so I saw a snake get in a fight with a jaguar, yeah. and the snake wrapped his whole body around its own head, became a ball, Yeah, right? I think that's what the Vatican is. 
I think that's like the whole Roman Empire at one point, like everything is burning. What do we do? It's just like, we're the Pope <laughs> <laughs> and just religion now. Right. But we're going to keep all these things we got. What's his name had a pretty, pretty interesting clip about that. He was on Joe Rogan's podcast. I know we're, we're quoting the, the guy, a British guy, insult comedy, kind of mm-hmm. really Jimmy Carr, Jimmy Carr. Yeah. yeah, he, yeah. Had a, he had a, he had an interesting take on that too. Talk to me. Oh shit, man. I don't, I don't I'm specifically sorry. remember it, but hold on a second. I might, I might be able to find it pretty quickly. Here we go. Uh, Jimmy Carr. Vatican. Uh, uh, Catholic Church presenter. And then we find the short version of this. Okay, that's, that's uh, Russian roulette over here. Let's see if one of these are good. I cannot say Catholic priest without someone thinking that. There's no yeah. other occupation on earth that has such a connection to really so the plague hit the middle ages and before then the priest was the smartest guy you'd ever All met right. so the plague happens it wiped out a third of regular people but it wiped out 90% of priests because priests had to give last right yeah i couldn't too many whites <laughs> oh you know what's worse is that they, they they never do a good uh That's right, no. they roll but like, it's there very was hard one. to find the most interesting podcast, uh, I would say, is the one with Joe and Diana Walsh, Pasolka. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. And what happened? The thing that turned the Catholic Church bad was Same the plague. Light. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Yeah, what are you So, saying? yeah, this lady, uh, Rogan, had on episode 2091, Diane Walsh, Pasolka. She is a professional religious studies at the University of North Carolina. And uh, she went down there, and the Vatican was like, we'll give you full access to all of our shit. Yeah. And she went down there, and she's like, they have everything. Oh, Not only do they have everything, it's just slammed next to the next thing. That's incredible, slammed next to the next right. thing, because so they it's just have like, so much stuff. It's like art and gold and bullion. and It's not jewels. Uh-huh. It's the most historical arts and artifacts of human history that the roman empire could gather is all under the vatican yeah the roman empire was was legit there was a time when you know <laughs> they were the biggest things going i mean it just you know it's interesting where back then they're just like we'll just take this home <laughs> you don't need it we'll just take the whole thing all right where are we at not bad yeah, we're gonna do a quick one today, folks. We got uh, we got things to do, but we I gotta, have we have Jimma prayers. To yeah, do. we have Jimma prayers to do, and it's uh, it's yeah. Friday. It's nice today for a little while. It might be hailing by nighttime. <laughs> yeah, bro. What's happening? <laughs> that day when I was like, bro, I'm so happy. It's sunny. It's it's around the corner, and then that day, <laughs> hail, hail. You know, I'm a little. You're at the top floor, so you actually can tell some of your weather that you're getting mm-hmm. if you're facing away from the rain angle mm. and you're also in a building right. bro you can i've gone through multiple storms without realizing that a storm had gone through oh man and my mom calls her she said is your light still on are you okay and i'm like i didn't even know something came my through. mother-in-law called me with the same call she's like we haven't had electricity for two hours yeah i was like oh but also my windows are, I have like floor to ceiling yeah. windows. So when it's, re- I know whatever's happening outside yeah. because I have no insulation. So when it's hot, it's 104 degrees in my condo. And when it's hailing, it's like. You're getting hailed from three different locations. The people like across the sides. building are throwing coins at us is what it felt like. I was like, what is this sound? Yeah. When we go in the balcony. It's fantastic. I think you're also, you're at the angle of a thing. Mm-hmm. I'm on the side where the other side of the building's getting the hits. Yeah. I'm getting nothing. It's just. I'm just seeing, it just looks like rain for me. It's fun. I can't tell. I like living. I didn't, I've never lived uh, at the top before. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's also very high. All it's right. I got, I got to use something that's not, uh, I mean, wouldn't be something that I would normally bring up on the podcast, but this is so crazy. Sure. All right. Watch this. This is, uh, this is in Jamaica. Oh, no. All right, what? what are we doing? Right, just watch. I mean, this is normal. All right, here comes the guy. All right, we're going to start daggering soon. Throws his sunglasses, doesn't need it. No. Okay, wait, where did she come from? All right, wait, he exits the crowd. Where's he taking her? Say it, wait, say it, wait. He's on a bicycle. Bro, he's on a (laughs) bicycle. 
The dagger in continues. Dude, there's police officers there. <laughs> he rode away. He's gone. Okay, where does this... I know it happens in Jamaica. <laughs> you could turn it down. Yeah. Also, that's a white woman. I guess, yeah. But... What do you mean, I guess? What do you mean? <laughs> she got mad at Gemini five seconds ago. You want to let this one be white? For... She's the right dimensions. She's a white woman. No, no, for like the activities. Bro, bro, how how good is he at getting on a bicycle? Look, he was on a bicycle already. Yeah. He's gone. <laughs> What's going on in his head? I, I love where Bill Will, <laughs> the cops, just hands in pockets, <laughs> just watching him sail away <laughs> with his newfound lady who jumped over another lady. <laughs> bro. Street performance. We're Amazing. getting... Yeah, we're not getting the full blast of it at the resort, is what I'll tell you. Yeah, that's exactly that, it. That if we saw some the of this at the, like, in a Jamaican resort, I It'd feel like some, more people would go I think them. you'd have a video of it on your phone. <laughs> and yeah, then she would... rode away on a bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, cool. I already sent you this, but I just want you to see it. Okay. Yep, with me. That's hilarious. His pants come off. <laughs> he looks so stunned. <laughs> Bam, look at this. <laughs> He looks so stunned. Oh, look at his eyes. Do it again. Boom. Dude. He's like the letter. <laughs> M -f like it's a new letter. He made a... And his pants came down to his knees. Not his only, thighs are out. Dude, play that. it again. <laughs> play it again. Out of the smoke. Boom. His head... There's a pause in there where this guy's totally upside down with the, the car All rolling right, I'm by. I'm going to try to hit it. First, okay, you don't know if it. a car's coming. Right. Boom! Dude, this guy. Wait. Right there. <laughs> He's still saying, whoa, to the car. <laughs> Somebody should take him on a bike ride from here. They should mix those two clips. Yeah, take him to the hospital, Look bro. Look at him. Look at like, his hands. He's still stopping the car. He's... Do this in reverse. I know it's hard, but like we got to figure this shit out. This is... Good for him. He didn't die. He got the best video. He didn't die or anything. I mean, look at his spine here. Look, Dude, that's his head. It's all the way around. Yeah, his head is pointing at his toes. His hands are facing the other way. Where is this? It's not Houston, is it? Uh, Los Angeles, apparently. Is that Theo? Yeah. What's he saying? Sixty yard, a six yard loss. Six yard loss. <laughs> Play one last time. All right, here we go. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh my god. He was holding something. Yeah. Something was it flew a out of his hand. Was it a drink? Yeah, it must have been a drink or a something. Dude. Jeez. Best case scenario. Nothing broken, just got up. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, as a car per as a car enthusiast, the takeover scene is stupid. Mm. Where they're taking over intersections to do these like donuts and stuff like that. Right, bro. You need more cops. You, yeah, I think so. Right. So can we stop stop and frisking people randomly on the road, and then go to these things, and then stop them from taking Are you over calling an the cops for for these? Yeah. All right. Yeah, hundred percent. Because this is not a this is dude. This I have is never not, seen one of these, but I know they happen. Yeah, there, obviously, yeah, they're yeah, fun. Yeah, they're, they're the the other. There was one that was hilarious. We were we've already showed it. It was when the guy was getting into his car, but another guy had like a cherry bomb and mm. he threw it, and it just so like the arc of it lands inside this guy's car as he closes the door. Oh my! Blows God. the door off <laughs> when it, when it explodes. That's a dino. Like if it could blow a car door yeah. off, that's yeah. pretty. You know, it, is, it, it blew out an eardrum. Yeah, for sure. Both probably. Yeah, Both yeah. Hasn't heard anything since. Okay, last video. Sure. Um, this one is uh, is uh, you know, brother, when, when when you see people who uh, they demonstrate stuff. Okay. Right. You know, when someone's gonna come and talk, whatever. Uh, you know, Ben Shapiro, whatever, and then people will like go in and they start yelling at him. Right. And what? And I get it. I understand the reason why, and I understand why people feel like they should do that because I, they're standing up for 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 what they believe in in moral like their moral reasons for it. I understand this, mm. but I feel like the students at this Texas university oh. did it the right way. What Texas university? I don't know. We'll find. It's out. all right. It's okay. It's not important. All right, brother. To set this up, yes, a guy who I think is mm -hmm. a, an engineer, okay, uh, who works for Lockheed Martin. Is coming to do some sort of like talk. So, listen, 
As a weapons manufacturer, if you work at a place where they make weapons, yeah. you got to you gotta be on your feet. Right. What happened in this situation? All right, here we go. <laughs> I was like, I know exactly where this should be going. That you have a very impressive resume during the 18 years that you spent working on the F-22 jets and the years since that you worked on the F-35. If you were to give an estimate, how many children do you think you've killed? <laughs> pause. Can we pause? There's no pause. Never yeah, mind. No, no, there is pause. There is pause. Yeah. All right. First off, this lady's tone is just just perfect. It's just like... <laughs> Deadpan. <laughs> yeah, talking about... She also listened. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, how many children have you? do you think you've killed? I can't imagine his answer. I'm guessing he's like, shit. <laughs> I wish I it was. It? That would be amazing. How does he answer it? Uh, subtitles up. Uh, I don't even have an answer. To the question. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know how to answer that question, nor will I give it a shot. Nor will I give it a shot. Hey, boss. As a businessman, hey, boss. company culture is a big Are they doing more? Especially at a project manager position, where you can spend most of your time working with others. What can you share about company culture and working with a team of genocide supporters and murderers? Ah, uh, he didn't. He lost his shit. He at lost the end. at the end. Yeah, that's all right. That's another way I'm not going to answer because that's not who I work with. And I'm just wondering, as oh, let's say an intern working on, like, as a systems engineer or a software engineer. I like his tone. He's good. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to speak on this, but would you be working on a small part of those systems? Or are you working on projects with? business impact like would i be kind of doing like a small little side project or would i be able to directly contribute to the murder of palestinian children okay. Good <laughs> it doesn't have the school uh hey man i this is i'm all for this this is these are this good questions good. this is good this is what you need i like it because the thing is is that you can disrupt but they'll the, the security will immediately pull you out of the right. auditorium yeah whereas over here they're not doing the disruption they're asking a, a valid question here this is the whole point of comedy this is the point of comedy is to yes this is the the whole point of comedy yeah so yeah that guy also like probably told a lot of people later it's like i had this and they kept asking me right these work-related genocide questions. <laughs> I'm sure he would have rather that people just yelled, right. stop killing people, mm -hmm. and, and then, then they would just get pushed out of the auditorium, right. and then he can continue. Right. He would much rather that than a calm-worded question yeah. for him to actually have to say, I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. The only thing is, in between these, he's probably answering normal questions, <laughs> and then every, he doesn't know if it's a normal, he has to pay attention <laughs> the whole time, and at the end, just sweating. they're like, you're a murderer. <laughs> So on that note, it's free Palestine all day. Mm. Thank you for listening to us. We'll be back in a week. Take care of yourselves. Good night.